and welcome to Team Yumbo Visma headquarters. I'm Orla Shinoui and we're here today to find the next top mechanic. Now you may well know that one of the team's two main sponsors, Visma, provides business critical cloud software. Visma is an expert at solving business challenges, so they are providing the software and the expertise to help find the next top mechanic. This has been a hugely competitive process. Over 200 people have sent in their applications from 16 countries across the world. And here, they've been working hard at whittling that down to just four candidates. Today is the day. So we're going to go inside and meet the head of the jury, former cyclist and now operations manager at Team Yumbo Visma, Ezra Trump. So here I am in the heart of the service course. I love getting up close to all of this. Ezra is here next to the golden toolbox, the big prize, part of the prize at least, mm -hmm. Ezra. Over 200 people from around the world have applied to be the next top mechanic. How Crazy. on earth did you go through all of that? Crazy, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it was, um, it was a big challenge to, to go all, uh, to, through all the 200 applicants. But uh, yeah, it was a really um, a, a search for the a flexibility, uh, some knowledge about the bike, um, see if it's a mix of the teamwork and, and work in a team. So it's really, yeah, uh, interesting uh, to see how we come down to, to four. Um, yeah. So they're the things you're looking out for in the next top mechanic. How yeah. are these four finalists going to be tested then? What lies in store for them? Uh, we have an interview, um, so we get to know each other a little bit more. Uh, we have a technical challenge, so maybe we use this as a golden toolbox, mm -hmm. but um, uh, we, we simulate a race or a situation in a race and um, we test our teamwork. Yeah, so what specifically are you and the jury looking out for then? Um, flexibility, um, how they work together, um, teamwork, so uh, that's, that's really important um, in our team and also uh, the technical skills of course, yeah. Excellent, well let's get to know the candidates a little bit shall we, it's time for the interview. So Ezra, you're all set for the interview, who have you got helping you here? Um, this is Marcel, he's my right hand today and uh, in this assignment, the interview. So um, he's the manager of the service course, uh, the headquarters of our team. So um, he will be really valuable today. Excellent. And who have we got up first then for the interview? You need to pick somebody from the, from the hallway, so uh, bring someone in. Excellent. I like having that power. We'll go get somebody <laughs> then, shall we? We'll get started. Welcome, Jan. How are you? I'm nervous. Really. <laughs> <laughs> so it was actually my first job interview, and also it was in foreign language, so that was something also. But actually, when we started talking, everything went smooth. I'm Jan. I'm 21 years old and come from Slovenia. I, I was a cyclist before uh, for 11 years, and then I started um, working as a mechanic in this team. How do you deal with a situation that's maybe not going as planned. I will do everything to make it right. Otherwise, I'm not uh, like going home or going to sleep until mm -hmm. I solve it, that. And I'm also like, when there's a problem, uh, not just with the bike, like anything, I like to solve it immediately, not uh, go, not have a talk or everything on anything mm -hmm. with someone. I just like to solve it, that it works and it's like I want it to be. So how do you see it for working for a Dutch team? Because that's something different than nearby uh what you are doing now? For me, I think yeah, for me it's better because uh, I like meeting new people. Mm -hmm. I'm nervous, yes, but uh, <laughs> no worries. I like the excitement, the, the new people. Uh, you learn, uh, learn something new, yeah. and uh, just the thought of being um, around the world yeah. for me is uh, something amazing. Okay. Ah, it's already finished. Time's up, I'm afraid. That's oh. it. Thank All you done. For your time. <laughs> okay. You're welcome. Good luck. Hey Jacob. Hello. Welcome. Good morning. Thank you. <laughs> I'm 39 years old. I'm from Sunnabo. I'm uh, today a head mechanic in uh, Bike Shop, uh, where I'm 
responsible for gate mechanics. I was pretty confident about myself and about the whole situation and I know I'm good enough for this, but of course there was competitors, so it's just to perform the best you can. But you have also experiences as a mechanic. I uh, do have a lot of experience as a mechanic, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah at several teams. Um, yeah, at several continental teams and a Danish national team. I've been freelance at Saxo Bank, which is a, a previous uh, World Tour team. Yeah, and what do you like about being a mechanic? It's a lifestyle. When you like working with bikes, uh, I think that's the highest you can achieve. And I just uh, chase that dream and like, yeah, keep working and keep going. You know all the new products that are on the market now, you know how to assemble, you know how to work with them. I do. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm pretty up to date on, on everything on, on the market today with electronic 12 speed and wheels and frames and so on. Yeah, true. You can grab the next one. Thank you all. Yeah. Good luck. Thank you. Hi, welcome. Hi, all. Hey, on there. <laughs> how are you? Good. Yeah, I'm feeling good. Uh, it was easy going interview. In the seven minutes uh, went fast, actually. <laughs> From Spain, living in Vlaimen. Yes, yes. How I end up? Uh, yeah. In the how you end up there? That's not good for, <laughs> for your image. <laughs> <laughs> well, after I finish my studies, I work at home uh, in a company. But then I always wanted to travel and uh, move around. So I start traveling around the world and working also to fund myself to continue traveling. That's where I met my girlfriend, which is Dutch. So that's why in the end how I end up uh, in the Netherlands. And uh, yeah, cycling is my passion. So uh, when I saw this opportunity that uh, has a chance that being in a team, yeah, I said, yeah, let's yeah. go for it. <laughs> yeah. And what do you think of uh, uh, being uh, around uh, the world 200 days a year? Right now, I'm working here full time mm -hmm. uh, in office. And uh, what I miss uh, actually, <laughs> it's a little bit to be around and, uh, and uh, travel and uh, that a bit more dynamic, mm -hmm. dynamic style of, of, of life than being in the, in the office uh, 40 hours per week. Oh, Orla, no. no. Sorry. <laughs> oh, really? Time's oh, up. That looked like it was a really good answer as well. No, <laughs> okay, thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Urban. Urban. Yes. That was basically, I think, the most nervous moment. Can you maybe uh, tell something about yourself? I started with mountain bike as a racer. Then I fully focused on mountain bike. I've been to three Olympic Games as a part of the team, as a technical coach, as a mechanic. In, in the mountain bike scene, everything is, is tested and explored. And then yeah. what, what's Transfer good it. Yeah. transfers to road. Yeah, um, that's also one thing because like as a mechanic in a team, I can see it's easier to work on a bike because you get to know one bike really good. You know all the things about the bike and then you can search for small details that can maybe be a small part of the winning game. Yeah. You're Thank done. You very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So, Ezra, Marcel, how was that? How did it go? Yeah, it was quick, short, <laughs> short, but um, yeah, really good uh, to, to get to know each other a little bit more. Yeah. Um, interesting, hard to make a decision. Mm. Yeah. Some, did, some did better than expected, some well, were not that good as expected, but I think uh, we learned a lot. Well, we've got a little bit of a feel for their personalities. Now it's time to check out their mechanical knowledge. It's time for the technical test. Obviously, for a mechanic, the technical part of the job is crucial. So we've come back onto the workshop floor and Ezra, you brought Yenko along for the next challenge, haven't you? Yeah, Yenko is our head of performance equipment, so um, he knows all about his technical, uh, technical assignment. Yeah, so to put our finalists to the test, what have you devised for them? We, uh, we figured out uh, to build a tubeless wheel setup. Um, so we got the wheels over there, uh, we have the tires over here, the cassettes, the tubeless fluid, um, yeah, the discs. Excellent. Okay, gentlemen, you picked a workstation already. Get to your places, please. You have 20 minutes to build your wheel. If you're ready, we'll begin in three, two, one, go. Just the first two minutes, I was like looking around, but then I was like, I need to stop this because otherwise yeah, I'm going to make a mistake. 
I'm struggling a little bit because I'm seeing that uh, that we have to just uh, assemble uh, one tubeless uh, uh, tire, which uh, I've never done before. You've given 20 minutes to do this. Yes. Realistically, how long should it take then? Well, I think 20 minutes is it's right on mm -hmm. the, the average which you could, could use. So, mm -hmm. so I think it's not too much time. Uh, if you want to do it right, I think 20 minutes is, is, is well, normal. I think if you are fast, maybe 50 minutes, but that's really, I think, really fast. Not all, but a lot of the liquids came out. That was the point where I wonder myself, should I keep going? There are, let's say, two ways also to, uh, to put the fluid in. Mm -hmm. And so it's interesting to see uh, that somebody is doing an other way than, than good. We had to put sealant into the tire in, in the wheel, and I normally do it just directly into the tire, and that went wrong. So I should have done it through the valve instead, and that will definitely have saved me like three or four minutes and a little bit of uh, mess around my bench. So on a very basic level, we've got a very tidy workstation exactly. here, don't we? Everything's been put in the bin. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. everything's been cleared away. Yeah. If you give me the dishes, I will probably arrange them so that you can have it, everything fits in the dishwasher. Clean work desk gives uh, clean headspace, and mm -hmm. I think that's also yeah, gives a feeling how you work if you're tired and normally you're a little bit more active. On, on top of it. Yeah, it's yeah. like organized. Yeah, well, it's always with the tubeless fluid. It's, yeah, if you are <laughs> very good, then it's still a mess sometimes. But it's <laughs> yeah, not yeah. really. Uh... Okay, gentlemen, that's 10 minutes gone. Everything looks good. It's easier to perform good. Well, yeah. it's it's. Uh, you know, it's a you know, the uh, attention has been paid to the yeah, detail. Yeah, absolutely. They're all doing it well. Yeah, but nervous. Are you finished? Oh, I still managed to finish quickest, but then I realized it's not about to finish the quickest. Then I just took my time, clean everything nicely, and that was it. Quality over quantity. <laughs> I definitely need some. <laughs> <laughs> You're not finished just yet, my friend. Back to your workstation. I have no time to look to, uh, to another's because I'm on my own world and uh, trying to finish it uh, on time. Five minutes left now, chaps. Five minutes. So we've got two mechanics tidying their workstations here, wheels all built. The other end, they're still building the wheels. So if they get them built, they may have messy workstations at the end of it. Will that make a difference? I know I'm good enough, so, so for that I'm, I'm confident about my, my skills, but it's, it's annoying when it's happening here because it should be perfect here, but yeah. 30 seconds. Three, two, one second. Step away from your wheels, gentlemen. Time is up. So that's it, the technical challenge is done. Ezra, Yanko, I feel a little bit mean asking you this when they can all still hear us, but how did that go? Really good, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, we saw some different techniques, some different way of working, um, so some differences, so yeah. Yeah, but uh, I think uh, the basics are always uh, pretty good, actually, and yeah, there are some little details which can be interesting mm -hmm. and some can do that a little bit different, but yeah, it's good. Good, good. Two challenges down. We'll see you for the next episode of the next Top Mechanic. The bike needs to be mm -hmm. facing the other way. Plus, yeah. the wheels are not inside. Yeah. Powered by Visma, your trusted partner in cloud software solutions.